I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. Welcome to the house that Rockney built. Leahy turned into legacy, Parsegan renovated, and Holtz restored. Notre Dame Stadium, the home of the Fighting Irish. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, taking on the winners of four straight, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. It's a difficult one to attack. They're really good. One of the best in the country. They come at you from all angles. So I, I'm interested to watch. How do you mix up the play calling? How do you keep the defense off balance? Because they are a good one. He's going to pass on second down. Unloads to the wide out. That is first down at second and nine. Makes it past the marker. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And he'll try it from the right. Hash and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before. And here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they were defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a lot better. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. And that is the way you set the tone. Man, early and often. Here in the first quarter, get your first sack. Nice job by this defense. They had four last week, and it's looking like today it's going to be more of the same. Trying play action. A shot toward the end zone. That's why they're a top 10 offense. Defensive lineman do big, fast, one of the most athletic players in the field, getting in the backfield, just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, oh, shucks or something. He wants to throw here on second down. He's got his man. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. Lasso. 
used to play fake. Now to throw. Going downfield for the... Oh, and it's picked off. Threw it right into the teeth of double coverage. Trying to take it back. He'll go out of bounds, but he gets the ball back. Takes it the other way, and he has created a great sudden change opportunity. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, when you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover. But they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. It's a perfect effort by that guy. The touchdown, they'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game. Here comes this offense. The back goes in motion. Here comes the option. And oh, no, he loses the ball at the end of the run. And that's a huge play by the defense. Great job and great effort getting to the... I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. To get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires complete on the crosser. Quick release on the RPO. He wants to pass it on second down. He's got the tight end. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to, to be able to continue to run the football against a really good defense. He makes a grab into the end zone. Touchdown, wait. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. It gets you excited, and then when your offense takes it down... He holds it in, and nobody's close. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stopped. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. They'll try to get it in with the run. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame! You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offense is the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. down trying to get to it and the heat will get home and the quarterback goes down at the seven one more snap coming before halftime on second down looking to throw pressure coming pass is incomplete and half comes to a close on that play that's the end of the second quarter that means it's time to join kevin and our halftime update Men, it should come as no surprise that we have ourselves a fun matchup in South Bend. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? 
I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas there in the shadows of Touchdown Jesus. All right, Kevin, about rest half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football with him. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Racing down the left side. And he just kept running it. He ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Touchdown by the Irish. No midseason doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. That is such a nice job by the receiver there in that trick play. Acting like he's going to block and then getting downfield. He was wide open thinking to himself, just don't drop this, just don't drop this. All he had to do was catch it and run it into the end zone. Oh, and I think people underestimate the timing of a flea flicker, right? When you got to hand the football off. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Unloads it left. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good. So efficient. Such a good route runner. Got the speed. Got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight it. It looked like he was going to pick up the first. But because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop. And now they're setting Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He caught it! Bell marked driven it deep. Now facing a third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires and picked off. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Not all guys have the ability to, to break on the football, go make a play, and catch it. <laughs> you know, you play defense for a reason. A lot of the wide receivers are the ones that do most of the catching. Great job by the defense securing the INT. Every journey begins with a step. This offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. He's going, and he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. Looking for more room. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Iron. The defense puts six on the board with a big time interception return. The DB saw it. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. It's a reverse. Breaks the tackle. And he is brought. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. He's got it. Huge game before he goes out of bounds. And now they've got it first and goal. This guy's gotten off to a good statistical start, guys. With that last completion, he's already now over 1,000 passing yards on the season. And man, you know he's looking for more. Subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in his head. He makes a catch. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Finds his man. It's green. He was trying to cap this drive with the pass. Buys a little time. Makes the catch. It's Claiborne. 
He wants to throw it. And that one is picked off in the end zone. Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And his fifth interception of the game, a miracle they haven't pulled him yet. He was looking for running room, but they get him down at the 28, and now they are set up. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. They're able to make the stop, but a little extra icing on this winning cake in this one. This is what an elite team does. They know they're better. They go out. They take the figurative sledgehammer and hit them right between the eyes. And they just look good in every phase of the game. If I'm on the coaching staff, I don't know what you could ask for your guys to do better. I think the challenge now for this team is going out next week and trying to play with the same type of intensity and the same level of execution. Well, Jesse, it's easy to look good on the field when you look that good in your uni. Like, when you look that good coming off the bus, those dudes are good. This is a great team, and they proved it. Just domination from start to finish. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.